Welcome to the Brad and Bradley podcast, where we deep dive into everything about AI, AITX, and its rad subsidiaries. I'm Bradley. I'm Brad. Let's dive right in. Bradley, this Romeo Gen 4 robot is something else. Six feet, nine inches, and over 1,600 pounds? That's a major presence. Imagine it patrolling those large corporate campuses or industrial facilities. I think just seeing it would make people think twice about causing trouble. Yeah, it's definitely built to stand out. And the technology seems equally impressive. They've packed it with LIDAR, radar, and ultrasonic sensors, plus predictive path tracking for vehicles and people. I wonder what kind of obstacles Romeo could handle smoothly. Snow, mud, steep inclines? It seems like they've thought of everything to make it versatile in any environment. That's a great point. They even mentioned snow tires, or mud terrain tires, for specific conditions. It feels like Romeo is aimed at some very diverse locations, from parking structures to dealership lots. And with 16 hours of continuous runtime, this robot could cover a lot of ground without needing a break. Exactly. And did you catch that? It also may contribute high recurring monthly revenue, RMR. AITX projected that if they deploy 250 Romeos, they could generate up to $20 million in annual recurring revenue, what they call ARR. That's a solid revenue stream, and it ties into their growth strategy. It really does. Plus, the sales pipeline already includes a big RFQ where they're essentially customizing the specs to fit Romeo Gen 4. It's almost like this version was made specifically to capture these types of high-stakes security contracts. That's a sign of demand right there. And let's not overlook the safety angle. The bumper sensors and emergency stop buttons really round out its navigation tech. Not only is it visible, but it's also been designed with safety in mind for those around it. Seems like AITX is focused on defining what safe looks like for outdoor security robots. This has been the AITX Deep Dive with Brad and Bradley. See you next time, and be sure to hit that subscribe and like button to stay informed.